actually converts these guys into the beta bitch that their wives are. Look at Bobby Lee. Here, we'll show you Philip first. Here's Philly. And then I'll tell you how I scared Jules. Don't forget about that. Shut them. Is this queued up? No. Oh, okay. That was just it's what you were watching here. before. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. This is Philip DeFrank. You know this guy? This newsman. You know him? If you donated to his rocket fuel fund. You know, he's got a Patreon, a real bit. This would be like if Coca-Cola had a Patreon. <laughs> Do you understand this? If you have a business with a business plan that makes you money, you can't also just have a patron because why not? It, it would be like a Best Buy had a patron. Hey, follow the Best Buy patron. We'll tell you what's coming up in our stores. You'll get a first glance at the redo of our aisles. We're moving the DVDs to the back and the TVs to the left. And when you check out your what? laptop, they're like, would you like insurance? And you're like, no, no, no. And they're like, would you like to donate? To would you like to donate to, to our Patreon? It's five bucks. And then you could be part of the Best Buy Patreon. You would never do it. So when people like Philip DeFranco, people like Brian Count, these are people with careers. This Patreon should be for up and comers, children, you know, it's like fast food jobs should be for children. Uber drivers should all be. When's the last time you got in an Uber and the kid was 16? Never. They're all 50. What do 16-year-old kids do all day? Make bank on Twitch? Here's Philip DeFranco. You should not have a patron when you have a business. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hello, hello, hello. Look at this. Look at his face. Welcome to the stream. Was not expecting to go live today. Uh, hello, let me uh, let me just <laughs> get the chat. Can up. you give me Trisha Paytas talking about the real Philip DeFranco <laughs> right after this? I love Trisha Paytas, but Trisha Paytas has got it going on. Trisha Paytas has got it going on. Trisha Paytas has got it going on. One more time. Trisha Paytas. That's how the song goes. Look at this guy. Oh, 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 no, no, are you I okay? I legs today. I got the worst. My joints are a mess today. Are you okay? Everything from knees to the thighs. See, I tried to cross my leg. My whole leg went pain. You want me to go under there and kiss? <sighs> Why don't you get under there and suck this knee? <laughs> I'd like to bash somebody in the fucking skull with my knee if it were legal. Listen to this. I literally just sprinted. I'm a big boy, so it took a while. I sprinted to yeah, this uh, <laughs> to this room. You, if you have hair like this, drown yourself in the nearest man-made lake. You're a freak. <laughs> I hate this kind of hair. What do you call it? And this is like a blurry image. Let me see if I get a better one. <laughs> a little less blurry there. What do you call this kind of hair? Do people know what I'm talking about about this? This is the type of guy where he shaves, like, cuts off his sideburn, but it still sticks out 3D, like it doesn't taper in. The hair is always spiked out. What kind yes. of hair? I hate it's that's like, like a cheap, sideburns. cheap hair. If you were born with hair this cheap, you're not a real person to me. Okay, this is cheap. Ew! Look at his eyebrows. The hair don't want to be near you. The hair don't like. Ew, you're cheap. You got no eye. Look at his skin. Couldn't grow a beard if it were required. <laughs> Couldn't grow a beard. It's November, November. Remember this? People used to do this every year. Guys, now hear me out. November. Because it's called November. What if we call it Movember? And then it's we never shave. For all of November, we never shave and we grow a beard. I never understood this. Movember for mustache November? Is that what they were trying to do? They would call it Movember. And it was because you would grow a beard. Do people still do that? I think I... they moved on to No Nut November. No Nut No Why? No Nut No Why? Yeah. No Nut No Who? No Nut No How? I'll nut every day of this earth. Look at that disgusting fucking fat show. Now, what's worse than his hair? His personality. <laughs> his personality. You want to hear his personality? It's shittier than his brow. 
There we go. Now I can see the chat. Look at his black the heads. Cat disabled for this. I like how at home he's going, nobody's looking at my black heads. Philip, nobody's. Are you out of your mind? Get a your strip. <laughs> this won't stand. He's never used an India clay this mask is all in his black life. No, he's never used a mask. He doesn't exfoliate. All he does is rub fry on his face. You guys should see Mike put on a mask. He spreads that clay like into his hairline over top of his beard. The mask money, the mask money, clay former, the mask money, the mask money, the mask money. Uh-uh, what do I do? Call the cops. <laughs> uh, let's finally get to this, okay? There we go. Now I can see the chat. Wait, chat disabled for the stream. Shut no, up. we're doing this again then. Let's see. Did you get Trisha for me? It broke. It broke. It broke. It broke. It broke. It broke. Okay, wait till you hear what he says. So, I'm gonna have a spot. Enable live chat. I'm such a Save. juke. Let's see if that updates. Ooh, there we go. I see a chat. You might need to refresh. Come on already. You might need to refresh. There we go. Hello. Okay. Sorry for that temporary technical difficulty. <laughs> Makes the beginning of this video useless. Uh -huh. Good morning. Welcome to the 17th day of <laughs> 17th election day. How many days have we been looking at this uh, together? One day. Oh my goodness. It's been one. Uh, how are you feeling, chat? Fine. How are you feeling, nation? How are you feeling, you beautiful bastards? Uh, I felt like we were never, we were never going to get the results. <laughs> it's gonna be January. <laughs> oh, he needs to be. <laughs> oh, I wanna. Is it legal yet to do anything to people? Not Is that yet, still but... a crime? With I, I'll show you. I don't know what I, my point is here. It's just uh, you know I got a lot of hatred for people. Happy hatred. Let's see where his wife comes in. You got to see this fucking bit. Here it is. This is the part that really bothers me. And it's these guys' wives. I'm gonna show you this Bobby Lee thing in a second here. They let their wife. If you had a political thing going on, do you understand how you'd be treated around here, Jules? If you were into something like this against my wishes, if you were battling Trump on the net and trying to drag me into that and slowly chipping away at my own beliefs. I should try it. On this you. is what happened to, to soft skin, soft brain Bobby Lee. Soft brain, soft skull, Philip DeFranco. They let their wives determine what they're going to be passionate about. I couldn't believe when I saw Bobby Lee. This is not a slept king, you know. And again, take your business to China if it's so great. Take your business to the wall. See how long you last over there. Same with Kumail Nanjiani. You think you would uh, do very well in Pakistan? Do you think you'd do very well in... China, you know, here's his <laughs> wife. Watch this. <clears throat> he hey, coughs. He's coughing. Look at the state of things. I appreciate you. Um, and yeah, and what I what I kind of also think. Oh my God! There's, <laughs> there's look, a witch behind me. There's a oh, witch okay. behind me. <laughs> now him and his wife <laughs> fight champagne daily. Witch. Champagne for Biden. Um, look at this. Okay, Lindsay. Oh! This is his wife. She runs the show. Do you know about Linz? L-I-N-D-Z is what she calls herself. She's raising two of the most faggoty fucking kids I've ever seen. <laughs> Both of Philip DeFranco's kid, and I hate to hurt your feelings, if your kid talks like this, how pa, the, what the, we gone the block, what the far? If your kid talks like this, you're a shit family. Seriously. This was how I talked as a four-year-old. You know, Dad, I'd love to go to Blockbuster, rent a movie, get some popcorn. What do you think? And you go, yeah, that sounds like a deal. This is how these idiot kids talk. This is how you know your parents are two fucking faggots. When your kid goes, Baba, can we go? I want to go with my butt. Have you ever seen kids that talk like this? You go, what's going on? They got a speech impediment? I always thought it was from the parents talking to them like babies. I for don't too know, long. but why do some kids have that baby? I want to go. Da, da, I want to go. Because it doesn't have to be like that. Like my no. own boss's kid that I used to always watch, 
was only like four and yeah. she talked like an adult basically well i don't know it if it has, i don't know kid. what it has to do with but if i ever had a kid and they got missing teeth and blonde fucking thin ass hair if your kid has thin hair and missing teeth and no facial hair your parents are fucking fags so we are and he's got the ugliest two little kids that i wouldn't babysit if they paid a million dollars a piece, a million dollars an hour, I, I wouldn't really babysit. don't like it when kids look sticky. That's my first yes. Kid when complaint. they look sticky and poor, even if they've just showered or bathed. If I had a, if I ever had a baby, it would look rich. It would not look sticky and poor, and the clothes are thin, and there's always fucking goo on its mouth. It's got one tooth. Fucking yellow teeth on a kid. This kid, our kid, is wearing. We're dentures. not getting a kid. Don't worry, we're not getting a kid. Unless you're into that type of thing, like some kind of sick conservative, <laughs> crazy. Then we'll get kids for you. Listen to this. Anything you want to say that will not get this stream turned off? Watch no. this. Okay, <laughs> I appreciate you. Ooh, no day. makeup, no bumper. Uh, I feel like just there's so much blood in my head right now. Why? Um, I'm just stopped shaking. CF6. I'm shaking. I just stopped shaking. The only thing I shook this election was my dang dog. <laughs> because of his behavior, you see. I don't shake, man. Isn't this retarded? Imagine this. Oh, I've been sh we've been shaking all year. Yeah, we know. We know you've been shaking but I, over the leadership but of the also, government. Here's the thing. They're not shaking. They're not Just sh everybody's over exaggerated so much at this point. Everybody's put so much out there on Twitter that now that the big thing happened, they have to do their biggest. Yeah. Just like how I always say Big Mike exaggerates and every single thing Fox, that happens to him. Fox. He goes, this is the greatest thing. This is the best. Everyone exaggerates so much Fox. that now that Biden's won, they have to be like, I'm puking, I'm shaking, I'm dying. I just I'm laid puking, on the floor I'm for I'm shaking, six I'm hours. vibrating, oh God, I'm an electrical wire that flew into a puddle. <laughs> like, Do we have that clip of Big Mike on? While listening to an answer? Oh, fuck. I don't think you so. You got to see this face. I'll try to find it later. All right, look at this. Let's just hear a little bit more, then I'll show you the Slept King Bobby Lee that you need to unsubscribe to today. This isn't a political thing, by the way. We're judging these men as men. Bobby Lee sucks. Sorry. If you like him, the only reason you like him is because you've been so stripped of comedy over the last four years. Every other comedian has turned their backs on you. Bobby Lee, the best of the worst, you might call him, doesn't mean you need to associate with him. I want you all unsubscribing. If you want Tiger Belly... Watch Tiger King. Look at your belly, maybe. We'll see. You're Listen a to this. Whiny little, little bit. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that was an accident. Well, I disagree with some of the stuff that you say, Phil, and some of your political views. I respect your opinion, and I'm glad to hear a, a different. Oh, there she is. I love your face. That's see. That's that's the sort of opposition I I love to see because we are going to enter this this point and. This is, I think, a lot of we started seeing it a little bit on the first night of election when a lot of Democrats and a lot of independents who were left leaning here uh, thought it was going the wrong way. This is gonna be Shut the fuck up. I don't know what my point is with them anymore. Oh, but I pulled the Trisha clip up to the top if you want. That. Yeah, let me show you this. So Trisha Paytas. I love this girl. She's a big fat fuck. She does do mukbang. She gets all the wrong foods. We saw her go to Portillo's the other day. She ended up getting the burger plain. And what else? A fish sandwich with her mother. Disgusting. You get the hot dog, you get the beef. <laughs> she don't know, uh, but listen to what she said about Philip DeFranco, the guy I was just showing you. I, I really hate this Philip DeFranco. You know, and I've been going after him for quite some time. I, I Oh, We are back, the frenemies. <laughs> are we friends or enemies? Okay, so this is Ethan Klein and this woman, Trisha Paytas. They do this new series called Frenemies. It's good. It's good. But Ethan is on Lexapro, so maybe that's why it's good now. Let's go to 640. Is that right? Yes. And you're going to hear what she says about Philip DeFranco. The reason I like this girl is because she is crazy enough. She starts letting things slip about people. She has, She's a giant YouTube star. Millionaire. Million dollar house. She drives a Rolls Royce. I'm not kidding. This big fat lady. How many subscribers? Millions. Um, and she knows them all. She hangs out with all the guys and she knows all the behind the scenes gossip. 
and she lets it slip because she's crazy. Listen to what she says about Philip here. But uh, like, yeah, I don't know. I, I think just don't overdo what, it. But what has she got like a team she sends over for us to? Yeah, or I think she does it herself. I don't know. No, Hannah. she doesn't. You don't think? You think no she does fucking way she does. Well, anyway, so I got a team. Talking about She's like Hannah photoshopping yeah. her photos. Well, they're talking about how girls photoshop their photos and Facetune and use all these angles to suggest that they're hot when they're not. Trisha don't like that because she's a big fat cow, right? So she don't like when girls cheat and unfatten themselves for social med. And um, she's she's going to call out Philip DeFranco for doing the same thing that the girls do. Interesting. I like this. All right, guys. Here's my photos for the day. Make me pretty. It does get a little a little crazy. Thank um, you. Yeah. That was my whole point. But guys do it, too. And I think you should call out guys. You don't call out your guy friends. Like, I, hmm? you know, like, you don't call out the guys that do it. I'd love to. Who does it? Philip DeFranco. Whoa! We saw what? you on Lynn DeFranco's TikTok. Philip DeFranco he... doesn't Photoshop himself. He does you gotta angles. Bring, you wait, hold on, oh. you got to bring receipts. Listen you to this. You said angles? Angles. He wait, angles is people. not Photoshop. Having That's a good misleading. Hold That's on, misleading. having a good angle is not Photoshop. Oh, here we go, Trisha. being misogynistic and not what? going. Oh, look, you don't, I would never, Listen I never to show you. When did I ever call a girl for a good angle? I'm going to... Uh, no, but that's mine. I don't Photoshop. I never have Photoshopped my photo. I, he can tell you. I don't know how to use Facetune. I've never Facetune a picture okay, in my life. Okay, okay. this one. Here, look. Don't that is not the same person. So she's now exposing Philip, a video of him with his kids. And look at this big fat fuck. She's going, that's not the same person. <laughs> so she's used to seeing him like we just saw him. And now you see this. Look at this big, disgusting dinosaur, right? Look at how fat he is. Look at his shitty gay body. That's how a fat gay loser sits. And when I say gay, I mean, oh, and here's his stupid fucking idiotic kids. He's got to teach them extra school because they're so stupid in school. Look at this. Imagine having a kid like this. I'd leave him at the pumpkin patch during Halloween. I'd lose him in the corn maze if you catch my drift. And look at this big fat guy. He gets his clothes at Target here. Big fucking gun sticking out. Big fucking fag booty. So here, listen what she says. And that is not the same person on his show. And so it's like, how come you don't call that person out? Just because That's he not the same. Belly? Wait, that I... looks like a guy in a casket, if you ask me. Like Whoa. that looks like a corpse. And Why you don't call him out because so you're his mad friend. The... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So see, she gets called out for being this fat slob all the time. She's looking. She's going, Philip DeFranco's big fat pig. Nobody gives him shit. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you. Thank you for that. Very, very nice. This is why you're the queen. She's actually really funny. If you could get past a lot of things, got to get past a lot to like her. Let me show you what Bobby Lee I'm wrote. I'm past it all. I love her. I'm past it all. I like her, too. I got the uh, love for a lot of people here. Here's Bobby Lee. I'm so relieved at emotional wreck. This is after the election. This is all you need to do. You know, and these guys hide it, too. So while you're here, you go, oh, he's probably pretty cool. He's probably pretty cool. Right, because if you uh, don't mind Trump, you're kind of cool, right, on the internet. Hey, man, I don't mind Trump. I'm not one of these crying liberals. I'm pretty cool, right? <laughs> we thought maybe. I'm so relieved and emotional right now. You're emotional right now after the election? That's it. That's all I need to know. Did you know you're not allowed to be emotional? As a guy of this caliber, like if, if if you listen to Red Bar, then you can't listen to somebody who admits that they're emotional. It doesn't work this way. There used to be a clause against this sort of thing. He's emotional. He's finished, they would say. He's emotional. He just lost his whole audience. This is what I say with Mersh. There used to be a time where if you made 20 gay mistakes per day, you'd lose your whole audience. They'd all leave. There's no leaving anymore. The only audiences that leave and that are super strict is this one. If I say one wrong word, I lose 70 guys. These shows are saying, they're not saying one right word. There, I'll read the rest. I'm so relieved and emotional right now. It's disturbing to think that half of this country voted for the incumbent president. 
but I'll take this for now. Congratulations, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Doesn't say hashtag, hashtag gag at the end. That's what he's saying. It's enough. You stop watching. You unsubscribe. If you want to see it, you get the bit torrent. Because this can't happen. And this is a non-political statement, of course. This has nothing to do with who he's picking. It's about that he's emotional about the picking. And involved at all. Why? Because Kalila walking around the house? How about we send her back to where she's from? Huh? <laughs> you know, if Trump's going to be out of office, I'll help. What else do we have here today? Is that it for the show? Oh, you were going to say kidding. how you scared me. Yes, you want to hear about this? So, I really felt, you know, I've got in here, we're going to break off from this election stuff. Here's a new thing for you guys to think about. I always thought it's almost just as scary to be a killer as it is to be the guy who's getting killed. For instance, um, who the fuck has the guts to break into someone's house in the middle of the night all alone and verse a family? That's scary. You don't know what's going to happen either. To me, all right, let's pretend not killer. To me, it's just as scary to break into someone's house while they're home as it is for the house to be broken into. Like, imagine the guts it would take to creep into someone's house and creep through. You don't even know the layout. So last night, I finally got a taste of how scary it was to be a murderer. <laughs> I uh, woke up at around 3, 4 in the morning, like I always do, in brutal pain. Being brutally honest, as I always am, I woke up brutally honest. And I was in brutal pain. I had a massive headache, massive uh, body pains everywhere. And what I usually do is I take one of my little blue leaves and then I uh, take about four or five hundred hits of Indica, man. Yes, Indica. Uh, in the couch, this is weed. And uh, I noticed the bong was on Jules side of the nightstand. And I go, what the fuck is this doing over here? And we have a giant bed, very big bed. So you got to climb up and I'm climbing over her and hours go by. I'm trying to get to the other side and I reach over slowly. I grab it. But on my way back, I decide, <laughs> let's do a little gag. And I decide that I'm going to, and Jules is sound like, oh, let's start sleeping. <laughs> Couldn't be uglier. <laughs> And I reach down, pretend this mic's her face, and I reach down and I just go like this. And then I go, and she goes, ah, 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 and I go, stop, 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 stop. And for the first time in my life, I felt what it's like to feel like to be a killer. <laughs> she went nuts, nuts, and I'm like, no, it's me, it's me. And then she just went, ah, and burst out in tears. I couldn't get her. I go, were you having a bad dream? She goes, no. She wouldn't look at me. She was shivering, crying, crying, crying. And I felt terrible. So I felt terrible. <laughs> this really happened. 100% just like I said. I must have already been having a bad dream. I didn't know what I was dreaming oh, about. Know. So this is I... how you would act if somebody broke in. A <laughs> scream and a cry? A scream and then a cry, huh? Oh, I'm in good hands here. I'm real safe. It was so My last scary. line of defense, useless. So um, I love that. I'm going to do that every night. I'm going to scare you. And you know what I do to her, too? Sometimes, and I've done this a ton to you. She'll be sound just like, Rawr. I go into her ear. And this is during R-E-M. And I go into her ear. I go, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Jason. Bloody Mary. Candyman. They're chasing you. They're coming. And I'm hoping to create a dream. <laughs> Is that possible? Because all of the dreams that I have are pure nightmares and horror. I've Ugh. never had a happy dream. Scaring you is easy because you're really scared. Well, that face you do is terrifying. I probably only saw your eyes. It was, if someone did that to me, and close. you're lucky, because if you did that to me, you could end up getting killed. I thought I was getting kidnapped. Because I, I sleep <laughs> with two guns taped to my hands like guns akimbo. Right. And I couldn't stop crying either. Like she I couldn't stop crying, and it took crying, me like crying. Five minutes to continue. Oh, it sucked. <laughs> I bet the neighbor was filing a report. I know. 
Cheers, everybody, to a wonderful Red Bar. Still in small talk mode, okay? Ah! Mm. Sorry, had to do it. All right, let's see what else I have for you during this little small talk segment. Um, oh, a couple new features with the Red Bar thing. You could now... A lot of people talked about this. If you're listening to the videos, I don't know if it works on the live version of the show. If you're on our website watching the videos, you want to use another app, right? Well, all you got to do here, I'm going to show you how this works because it is a little bit different. Okay, so let's pretend you're listening to. Oh, here it's uh, season 19, episode nine. Oh, I love this show. Uh oh, I got to do some other stuff. I can't have this open, right? So you're going to swipe away, then it goes off. You're going, what the fuck? Mike said that it'll work in the background. It does. You swipe here, and then you'll see this little widget that allows you to play music. I don't know what they call it. Just press play. Uh Uh-oh. Okay, this might be still in development here. Okay, this doesn't work at all. So this does not work. Wait. No, we're not getting anything. It's all broken. So none of this really works. Okay, here. You're playing it, right? Turn it off. It's done. Go to the app. There you go. Wow. Look, now you can do whatever you want. Show them the screen. Well, I might have some private information. Oh, yeah. There you go. So now it plays. Look, it plays in the background while you do other things. And then when you go back to the site, it's in the same place on the video. Isn't that nice? New feature. I'm sure that'll work very junkily for a while, but it is new and it does work. We're back up to, I think all of season 18 is now uploaded. It should all work on the site. And then these next seasons are going to come in. Something very funny is happening over there, huh? No, what I was happened? honestly still thinking about my crying. Okay. It's fine. Gotta move on from them. I was just uh, reading the comments. All of season 18 is uploaded now, and that was like the longest season because those shows are all like eight hours long and 98 gigabytes and all that stuff. The other seasons will boom, 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 because they're smaller shows, much smaller file size. So uh should be all back up and working like normal. Thank you, Scars Club members. And again, if you have any outstanding issues, it's not okay to have any issues, email issues at redbarradio.net. We'll take care of it. Okay, for you, we'll fix you up. We won't get mad. We won't get mad. Okay, I promise we won't get mad. I want to do We Watched, and I hate to say it, we're retiring one of my slogans here. Uh, so what do I always say? And let's see if the chat could get it. Well, we're on a 45-second delay. When I do We Watch, this is a show where we watch stuff, so... You don't have to. Remember this? Been doing this segment for about a year, maybe longer. We watched so that you don't have to. And then here, I'll show you what happened today. We're retiring it because it's not mine anymore. Somebody else decided that's their slogan now. It's kind of their thing now. So we don't own it anymore. And I'll show you who does. Oh, look at this. It's beige frequency. Who swears he doesn't listen to Red Bar. Look at this. Here's his new documentary covering everything I've covered. Okay, remember this. Base Frequency put out a Chris D'Elia documentary. It was word for word everything that I've covered about Chris. People go, ah, it's a little Red Bar-y. He goes, I don't even watch Red Bar. And then cut to this. I watched Joe Rogan's Netflix special. So you don't have to. Oh, my a sick fuck. You know, the coincidences are piling up here, Mr. Beige. I say unmask Beige Frequency. If you ain't got anything to say about this, take your mask off. Show us who you are. I would say Let's no see. more docs until you've yeah. been unmasked. How about no more talking about other people unless you show us who you are? It really isn't fair. I don't think it's fair. If I hid behind a mask, it would be very unfair to the people I go after. They wouldn't be able to have anything to say back at me you know it's uh it's it's a really cheap move i say if you're gonna fucking talk shit about people online do it you can do it from your own name 
yeah, sure, the commenter's fine. You don't want to lose your job. If you're making documentaries with 18,000 plus views, man up, put the camera on, be a big boy like Mike Redbar, and let the consequence fly in. Everyone listening to the show knows my home address. Everyone listening to the show knows my phone number. All my enemies know everything about me. When I say something, I am fully responsible for the things I've said, and I've got to face all those consequences. Not beige. He has it easy. Not anymore. Not when you're stealing from me, the leader of making fun of people. Here, go to one minute in. One minute in. And you know what, guys? Unsubscribe like to beige. Out of loyalty for Red Bar. <laughs> Get out of this guy. He's not good. I'm telling you this. Porcelain, good. Beige, shitty. Autistic, gay. You need this information? Go watch the last five years of Red Bar. We've covered it. <laughs> he doesn't watch Red Bar. It's a little too aggressive for him. It uh, scares him a little bit. Uh-oh, Mike's burning bridges with beige. I'll beat the fuck out of beige. Is he going to do a doc about me? In 2009... Mike was accused by one guy of stealing the sign money. Oh, no! <laughs> In 2008, someone said once that Mike did something to a girl. Uh-oh. You gonna draw me? It's gonna look nice. Literally impossible to do an ugly drawing of so you. This so this beige, it's enough. I watched Joe Rogan's Netflix special so that you don't have to, and thanks to my contributors on Patreon for allowing me to make a documentary. <laughs> Get it together, <laughs> wimp. I'll hang you from your underpants. Listen to this. Years of stoner philosophy, stool humping, and screaming. Finally, people are catching on. Fuck him. He will cry. And the stool I want to unmask. Hey, how about this? $5,000 to everyone who unmasks him. Legally, privately, legally, 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 and you privately do it to me. Five thousand dollars for his name and location. No, no. To no. me, privately. Is it a dox if it's <laughs> private? I don't think you should do his but location. But I'm here's the thing. Why is my everything allowed to be out there, and that's fair game? But he's allowed his secret. Imagine if I wanted the same privacy rights as an, a, a guy like this. Why am I not allowed that luxury? Imagine if I said to you, I'm sorry, all my privacy information. It you're wouldn't mean that dude, much. Doesn't mean that much when you're too afraid to even say, we don't even know if this is his voice. He could be hiring his little brother to do the voiceover <laughs> so that you can't voice match him. It's cowardice. Cowardice. And what's to be afraid of? I know everybody Listen, loves Listen, I'll him. tell you something. This desk is all the safety I need. This keyboard, this monitor, this screen, you can hide behind the screen. You lock your door at night. It takes a real psycho to come into your home. It takes a real psycho to come get you. If no one's ever come and gotten me, then you're fine. So to be so afraid. But I might get fired from my job. So fucking what? It's COVID. You know how many jobs I would be fired from if and they maybe heard Red Bar? If you, if your job is so important, then focus then on don't, that Yeah, then docs. don't be doing this. <laughs> you know? And imagine it's like, they can't fight back. There's nothing we can say about you because we have no information. It's not fair. You know, when I go after somebody, they can really fuck me up if they choose to. It's all out there. But yes, at least someone says in the chat, Porcelain at least had his own little style of jokes. British at least Porcelain jokes. wasn't ripping me off. But Beige Frequency, the stool humping thing that he just said is the Fighter and the Kid Reddit's joke. Yes, everything he does is from the Fighter and the Kid Reddit and Red Bar. This is what he does. He waits till all the information is out there and then compiles a documentary based on what you guys already know and agree with there's no risk here. Which there when I do a show, I'm throwing stuff out. I don't know if you guys are going to agree or not. He waits. He waits six months till everyone goes, yep, we hate the fighter and the kid. And then he goes, so do I. Here's what the fighter and the kid Reddit has said for the last six months. Wrapped up. This is not good. Which is fine. I'm going to unmask that just... little nerd. Ooh, am I going to give him a wedgie in front of everybody? <laughs> that fucking nerd. And imagine how scared... I'm going to be unmasked. The 5,000. The 5,000. 
you better do a documentary pro about me or else you're being unmasked. I want a documentary about how awesome Red Bar is. Would be nice. A propaganda style documentary about how great I am and how you're nothing compared to me or else I unmask you and I will. One of my life dreams is to unmask Beige Frequency just to show him what real risk feels like you know because he think he put this out a million likes oh yeah, yeah, yeah you know why they like it because they don't get to look at you if they got one glimpse at you they'd be sickened <laughs> listen to this joe's most recent specials definitely carry on that tradition let's start with triggered and i may seem like this. a strange place to begin but look at what is going on with joe's shirt oh what's oh. going on with his shirt something i've covered since 1992 Hey, what's going on with Joe's shirt? Hi, I'm Red Bar for retards. If Red Bar is too aggressive and chad for you, here is a slow nerd version of Red Bar for people that get too preoccupied because Mike is Jew, right? And you know what I say to that, to people who say that I'm Jew? Why is it are, being like, Jewish an insult to you, Nick? Tim Heidecker. <laughs> Why is it are, being like, Jewish an insult to you, Nick? There you go. And I just wanted to say, what shirt are you wearing right now, beige? What shirt is beige wearing? You know, it's easy for me to say I got the best style in all of podcasting. I have the best style in all of hate casting. I'm the thinnest hate podcaster. Nicest the cleanest, beard, nicest, nicest most put together, most well-rounded, most wives, most money. Everyone else who does what I do is an internet reject, <laughs> fucking low-life, Racist, they really are racist. Like, Mersh is a racist. These people, they're actually racists. I'm nice, I'm friendly, I'm like the, you know, this is the only podcast that you could go, okay, he's actually, you know what I mean? He doesn't, it's not scary. These people are I say scared. for every shirt you make fun of, show one of your shirts. Yeah, why don't we see what beige wears? Let's see how he dresses. You know, I'd like to do a documentary on him. Once I unmask him, I will. Can't I don't wait. Want, but I don't want to be unmasked. You don't get to choose! <laughs> you know who doesn't want a documentary made about them? Rogan. Okay? He don't want that. He's worked way harder than you. And you just... Uh, I've compiled all the things people hate about Rogan, and I, uh, six years later, I'll tell you what they are. <laughs> he better not be making a dime off this. I'll see his ass in court. All right, let's hear what he said. I haven't watched any yeah, of this. Just the shirt part was my only point. And we I like Jesse. Now, me and Jesse are teaming up to take down Mersh, so he's cool. Uh, so, But don't watch him. I'm not saying go watch him. You only watch Red Bar, okay? <laughs> we'll let you know if there's another show you need to be seeing. All right, let's see what Beige says about Joe's shirt. Triggered. It may seem like a strange place to begin, yeah. but what is going on with Joe's shirt? I know it's weird to go after somebody's fashion during a comedy special, but oh, it's it? really distracting. He could at least honor the Cambodian kids who died in a sweatshop making that shirt by having the dignity to tuck it in. Oh, Beige is amazing! Yeah, we came up with these concepts for you, Beige. <laughs> you don't have these concepts until they're created by leaders like myself. Now, didn't he rip off Comtown, my other friend Nick Mullen? Moldog forever. I mean, didn't he? he didn't rip it off. Well, he but ripped all it of off. His let's jokes, just like the uh, bong hit transcript. Well, let's hear this. Uh, show me this. Come I town. I can't remember what part it was. Well, at. maybe you could search the transcripts because people will definitely tell Nick Mullen, "Hey, this guy stealing your like, material." It's not stealing, but every it's one of stealing. his jokes is like a reference to something that he didn't come up with. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's all a compilation of other men's words, stronger men than himself, men that you know can appear. Not him. You'll never see him. Uh, like 135 is that part. but And, and then I it. do feel bad for people like Joey Diaz. They got to have a documentary made by an unknown voice. Like, seriously, it is unfair. At they should be frustrated. Mono -mono. Yes, I'm going mano a mano. And if Joey, you know, when I make fun of Joey Diaz, there's some risk involved. The Gargini brothers are after me. Have you not heard? Okay. Every time I look outside, I see a guy across the street like this behind a tree. I go, ah. Close the shades. And that's why you shouldn't it. scare me at night. Exactly. So you see what I have to go through to say these things? It gives you some oomph. Okay. It goes, wow, if Mike's going to say these things, there are consequences. I've said this a million times. I hope that means something to you. It means a great deal to me. So when I see men like this, even going after my own enemies, 
I can't. I, you you got to do it from your own face and name. What are you so scared of, Beige? It's not about being scared. It's about then you quit your job. If you want to collect Patreon money, you want to be this guy, you, then you quit your job. You make a decision. You don't ride both fences. That is a pussy's way. Do we have the come down part? Oh, you could go to like 135. Wow, let's just keep playing here. I can't believe he's done this to us, right? Beige bad. Have I convinced everyone? As I'm a very player. convincing too. That's the worst <laughs> thing for my enemies. If I were one of my enemies, this guy could convince you. And he'll, he doesn't care if it works today. He doesn't care if it takes a year, this mic. He'll convince you. He's very convincery. That's another thing. These other guys, they get, uh, they haven't been doing it long enough to really focus. You know, so it's just an awful decision to ever <laughs> listen to this. Is he looks like a child who found his way into his father's closet, but I digress. Joe starts the special by walking out and saying he's high. Woo! I'm high as fuck. Woo! Because, dude, weed, LMAO. And I love how he's so afraid to play, like, any footage. I play, like, all the footage on a giant screen. These guys, oh, it's here. It's in the mini screen. It's all scrambled. And this is their comments. Bent pixels. Oh, bent pixels. Bent pixels and Joe don't work together no more. Fucking idiots. I cover Joe Rogan all the time on YouTube. Full screen. There's no bent pixels coming for me. Stop it. He's not a martyr, this beige. Oh, oh, beige. Is, oh, my God. He of. He's doing this. Wow, he's so brave. Bent Pixels, my copyright strike. The and the fighter in Reddit is obsessed with him because he made that doc about Brendan, but he got all this stuff from the doc from you yes, guys. So he stole so it excited? all from you. Everything Beige does is stolen from a Reddit. <laughs> Let's hear this come town line. I mean, it's And just right off the bat, there was a bunch of screaming and face pulling. For some reason, Joe was also speaking with this weird stoner guy voice like he just had a bong hit transplant. This leads to a sec- That's what- and they've said that before. It's like a joke from one of their fools. Well, there you go. Her. But I just wanted to make a point that he just says everyone else's stuff. There you go. Come town. Me and Nick will have a meeting about this. And believe <laughs> me, I am on Nick's side. The game Sorry is more my speed. Uh, I like stuff like that. I don't like Jeopardy. And I don't like people who, and this is going to be tough, I don't like people who, and I'm quoting, lose their battle to cancer. I mean, come on. Get it together. You're go to the doctor. You're going to battle to cancer one day, so you better watch it. Cancer does not run in my family. Cancer is for weirdos and ugly people. People like me don't get cancer. It runs cancer. in my family, so. <laughs> exactly. It runs in Christian hellholes. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I'm never getting cancer except for esophageal cancer. I'm never getting a screening. What happens when you just get cancer and let it do its thing? Does anyone even try that? Or do you all go straight to battling it? Arlington Heights. Um, has anyone tried this? Maybe the battling cancer makes cancer go, oh, yeah, tough guy. Wait till you see what I do to your cells. Leave it alone. Stop going. Stop battling. Stop doing chemotherapy. You know, it's really stupid. And, uh, listen, I didn't like Jeopardy. And the one thing I don't like is when someone dies, all of a sudden everybody, oh, the answer is, whoa, the answer is fill in the blank. You know, the guy was crooked. And uh, <laughs> if you watched this show with your family, you were as crooked as him. That's <laughs> what I say. Moving on from that, uh, we got, uh, what's Turban Superheroes about? Is oh, just old? a light news story out of my hometown of Calgary. That's old, though, already, right? There wasn't really any good light That's news okay. today then because we just of skip the it. election. The Proud Boy leader was stabbed. Is this true? That's what they say. And Travis Scott, that's going to take us out of light <laughs> news. Thank you. Light news is cool and you guys all rock. Light news is cool, it's just cool, is a gun. Light news, light news, it gets the best in me. Light news is cool, and it's cool, is a shooting at a temple. Light news, it gets the best of you too.
I forgot that we have our very own cancer survivor here, Brandon. Brandon Mueller. Mueller he didn't yeah. Succumb. He didn't succumb. He didn't let the devil do his deed. You know, is just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. The cow. It's from a song. Uh, thank you so much. I don't know what's going on here. Let's. Uh, what do you guys want? Some merch stuff. Are you ready for merch? I know merch heavy stuff. I promise it's going to be good. You all know Red Bar OG Foulette Lady Alchemy. Hey, Lady A looking good, Lady A. That's what I yell to her as me and the boys walk across the street. We see her sitting there. Yo, Lady A looking good. You do the whistle that only you a man. can't do it? No. Just try. <laughs> Here, I can do it. All right. I can't whistle like that. I've always, if I could, you know, God said, don't let him whistle too loud. He'll cause a panic. You know, God knew. The reason God didn't make me as tall as you'd like me to be or as strong or as loud a whistler as you would like is because it would go too far. Okay. It would be a dictatorship. I'd make this place run like Saddam's Iraq. All right. If I was uh, physically able to believe me. So God said, we must put a limiter on this, Mike David. We must put a governor on him, okay? No loud whistling, no max strength. He'll be too powerful. All right, so um, Mersh. Mersh did something really revolting. A lot of you were sending this in on election night, way into the night. He did something called stream hopping. And we caught Mersh calling in to Lady Alchemy's show to hot shot and flirt with her. I We couldn't make this up. And he would go, Mike, I thought this guy was kind of, you know, a lot of Red Bar people listen to Revenge of the Sis. You know, it's pretty cool. Why is he friends with Lady Alchemy? A You know, nobody argues that Lady Alchemy, it's not like some Red Bar listeners listen to Lady A. No, no, no. She is a full-fledged lady fool, completely retarded, in the top 10 of stupid idiots that we'll never, ever like, right? We thought this was understood. Mersh is apparently friends with her. He went on her show, and I'm going to show you what he did. It's It's repulsive. And he also, I'll just show you this stuff. Like I said, I'm overwhelmed with with this craziness. We're going this to Facebook here. This is how Mersh and Lady A's relationship started. I saw this wow, in the BBG. Wow, look at this. So Mersh used to be a huge Red Bar fan, and still I started finding out about how stupid he was. I couldn't believe it. You know, I just treated him as any fan of this show. He's very respectful to me. He messaged me all the time saying how amazing I am, how much he loves me. So thank you so much. And people said, Mike, please, you got to listen to me. This Mersh is a fool. I go, you know what? Let him be a fool. Huge fan of the show. Not going to go after him. Hurt his feelings. And then it started building up to the point where I just couldn't look away. Here is uh, May 3rd, and and here is Mersh. Mike Scheel is his real name, and he's here in our uh, Bring Back group. This is last May, May 3rd. Seems like it's got to be It just says May 3. It's got to be this May, right? This May, nigga. Or else it would say the date. Balling so hard, and it's just May, nigga. Exactly. Kanye. Um, so Mersh posted this and it's Lady A following him. Now Mersh fully knows that Lady A is one of Red Bar's biggest fools. So he posts this uh, screenshot. Martina Marcota follows you and he goes, um, as if, wow, look, I'm being followed by a fool. It's happened many times, right? Josh Denny follows you. You go, Mike, what's this about? So, uh, look at this. This is from a year ago or 27 weeks ago. Not even a year. Yeah, this May. This May, nigga? I said, she's a sweet girl. You should take her out. It's a joke. And everyone's, look at the ha-ha-has. What did he say? Mike Shield left. Look at that. I said, oh, Lady A, she's a sweet girl. You should take her out. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. He says, okay. So everyone's making fun of it. All right. Let's cut to now. <laughs> Let's see. No. What? What? No, what? Oh, no, Those these are uh, fake hiccup. This will go away. 
Thank God. Don't even bring it up. I wouldn't didn't even uh, call that a hiccup. That's a easy to defeat <laughs> hiccup. Trust me on that. Here's Marsh calling into Lady A's election night stream. Yeah, I think it'll speak for itself. Let's see this. Oh, my God. And if you don't know about Lady A, I'm trying to compare her to some... I mean, the ultimate loser. She's incomparable. This is somebody who gets, I mean, 100 views. She's literally nothing. And we're going to show you what he did. We're going to cut to eight hours in. Is this right? People are doing eight-hour streams now. Another because copy. of me. Shameless so copy. let's go to eight. Wait, give me the codes, Jules, because I can't see that far. You're going to 83325. 833.25. We're going to start a little early here. Here's Lady A. It's the uh, race to 270. They still can't understand what's going on. She's a big poser, this Lady A, too. She don't know nothing about no government. <laughs> Watch this shit. She's got another guy on the phone right now. Yo, what's up? <clears throat> oh. Oh, no, nothing. Just someone uh, came into the chat, Paul. Watch this shit. Oh, hey. Yeah, that was me. Uh-oh. Is that what's him? What's going on? <laughs> <Welcome>. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Welcome. Oh. Welcome. Welcome. That's her. You're on with Justice. Any questions? Okay, hold on. It'll clear up in a second. Yeah, no. I mean, you were, you were streaming tonight. How'd that go? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what? Oh my god! <clears throat> no, it's just funny. It's it's that came on. It, it seems like. <laughs> Come on! Am I turning on my like interviewee? So, this is what we're seeing. This is the beginning of it. Mersh calls into her stream. The stream picks up. It's eight hours in. She doesn't seem to really care. And you hear Mersh cackling. She's going, "What? Spit it out!" Just like we are. What are you cackling about? And I think you'll soon see this is really, really bad. Like, yeah, so, like, what's yeah. going on? How was Watch your day? Like, like, what? like, like, she's just pretending like she doesn't know me. Like, yeah, hey, what's up? Hey, caller, you're on the air. Like, <laughs> fuck you. What, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, Help me yeah. with this one. So. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, all I mean, right. so first you go, is she calling in to prank her? No. Do not get it twisted. Wait till you find out what he's laughing about. It's really going to upset you. This is, this is funny. I don't know. It's random. Uh, I have a fun game we can play for the rest of the stream. Okay, so, so an, an, another guy bots in. Remember, Mersh calls. He's just laughing. She doesn't know what he's laughing at. She goes, okay. Then another guy who's on the line. And I wanted to play this too because it's so sickening. You know, these alt-right losers. I call them alt-right. This to me is alt-right. This is what it is. You're part of the alt right if you're doing something like this. And uh, you got this other loser on the phone. Do you know who he is? I know that his name is Paul. And that's Paul it. something. And I noticed that these alt right losers, again, I'm just, that's what I call people who are conservatives in public. You're alt right, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I've noticed, and baked Alaska types do this too, they like to humble brag and clout chase. Wait to hear what this guy suggests that they do. What's that, Paul? Why don't we just go through our contacts and find the most famous people in there and just start waking them up randomly? Let's go through our contacts and find the most famous people in there and start waking them up. Now, this guy, this Paul guy, this is not Mersh yet. Mersh is on hold. We're going to hear from him. He's bringing this up because he wants you to go, oh, you've got famous people in your phone? Ooh. Ooh. And to these guys, they actually are living this. And I'm trying to articulate this. All of these types of people, Mersh included, they get off on like fame, this internet fame that they think like Mersh thinks he's like famous. And they all kind of get off like on knowing like, dude, I got Dave Rubin's phone number. Pretty, And they want you to really, I'm telling you, they all have this sparkle in their eye when it comes to this. I thought the whole world was past this. Now that everyone's kind of famous, somebody being famous shouldn't be something you brag about. It shouldn't be something you're into or excited about. Do you guys understand where I'm going with this? Let's hear a little bit more. Cheers. This is a good one. This is a good one. 
Who are you gonna do? He's not the most famous, but the most fun would definitely be Jim Gunn. Jim so goes, she she goes, okay, who are you going to do? And she's not very impressed. And he goes, uh, Jim Goad. Do you know who Jim Goad is? He's the guy what? Gavin used to have on, the guy that got locked up in jail for beating the shit out of a woman. <laughs> and now he's back writing books and we like him because I can't believe they locked you up for beating up a woman. We hate women. This is really what's happening. This guy's humble bragging. Now, that's just a, a tangent. That's just a tidbit. Wait till you hear what Mersh is going to do here. I, really, you're going to be fucking furious. He's not the most famous, but the most fun would definitely be Jim Goat. Jim Goat's cool. He's uh -huh. amazing, but he's so grumpy that it would be hilarious to just randomly wake him up. In the middle of would the it be? <laughs> and look at Lady A. She's a little mature now. I love this about Lady A. You know, when a woman a woman reaches her thirties, she's like rolling her eyes at these dirtbag guys that she's forced to hang out she's with because there's nobody else. It's not that she's classy; she's not <laughs> fucking classy. But Lady A's sitting there like this. This is really, and she kind of knows like these are the guys I have to work with, and I'm sitting here with these little turd unmen. You know, this is a woman. She's got breasts. She's got legs. She's got ass. You know, she thought she she's was going to be. She's got the perfect childbearing body. And as stupid as she is, she don't want to be around these internet rats. And she's sitting there like, hey. And she's been on for eight hours. You know what? And it's uh, revealing to her. She's going, everybody that's participated in this stream, all these people are calling in, they're crap. But I guess this is what I have. All right, we're going to get to the merch part. It's coming up. I wanted to throw all that out there, though. Maybe it'll make sense in some kind of way for you guys. Here. Well, what what are you doing in here, Mersh? Here we go. What are you doing in here, Mersh? Because, yeah, why is he there? Like, you know, he's listened to every episode of Red. I want to make this perfectly clear. Mersh has listened to every episode of Red Bar. How do you listen to Red Bar and then be friends with Lady A on the side? Pretty fucking fucked up. And if I hadn't made fun of him, he would have still been a fan of Red Bar. And then how do you explain this? Wait till you see who else he's buddied up with. We're going to show you that right after this. He's going, what are you doing in here, Mersh? And you're going to be troubled to find out why he's here. I mean, I was just going to come say hi and talk about the election, but, you know, if you're going to be all fucking standing no, up. No, shit, no, no, no. I'm like, get this. Okay, I know I'm doing a lot of poise, pa pausing, but I want to make sure that you all know what's going on. She goes, what are you calling in for? He goes, well, I wanted to talk about the election, but you'd be, you've been all standoffish. So I'm going to fill you in on what's been happening. He called in. She didn't really care. She's like, "Why? What, what is Mersh doing here? We've never, you know." She knows of his show, and she goes, "What is Mersh doing?" And because she wasn't thrilled to have the mighty Mersh here, he's doing this negging, flirting. And I noticed this about Mersh; he would never pull this around here. And this is half of this. First of all, I want to make it perfectly clear: we're gonna watch Mersh flirt with Lady Alchemy. Yep. 100%. We're also going to watch Mersh do something that I didn't know he did. And maybe you've noticed this before. Because she's smaller than him on YouTube, he's going to pretend that he's like Jordan Peterson. I mean, Jordan Peterson doesn't even act like this. Mersh is going to big time her and pretend that he's a celebrity. I'm not fucking around. <laughs> So we're going to watch him flirt with a girl and pretend that he's a select. You're going to be so fucking sick. <laughs> You're going to be so fucking sick. Listen to this. You're going to come at me like I'm being weird and shit. No. You know, I, I was like, oh, you know, no. hey, you know. That's I'm not. Fucking literally, that's I'm not literally it. like, like the most famous I've ever been. And, you know, I did. I, I was on Ralph's stream and then he got drunk and crashed and burned. And I did my own stream and I was like, wow, you know. So he's caught. He's not joking. He goes, I don't know what the deal is. I call in. You don't seem like you're that excited. I'm literally the most famous I've ever been, right? And he's not me. Remember, Mersh ain't me. The hysterical, over-the-top me who says it all. 
Mersh lives in well, what he's saying is fact. He ain't joking around when he says, I'm literally the most famous I've ever been right now and you don't seem to care. This is what he thinks of himself when he's talking to lower levels. You know, this would be like if I big-timed you. Imagine if I big-timed somebody like this. This Is what it's, is that what it's called, big-timing someone? Am I making a case here? You're Are people following? Are you following? Listen to this. Famous I've ever been. And wait, wait, wait. You got to hear that again. Well, what, what are you doing in here, Mark? Okay. Look at my chat, and this is what I love to see. Wow, 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 wow. Mersh. <laughs> and this is what I love. Mersh. This is bad. <laughs> From the guy who's got cancer, Brandon Mueller. Saison Z, shout outs to him. Says, hey, Saison, a good I, friend of mine now. He says, I have more subs and million more views than Mersh, and I'm monetized. And you earned oh, well. it. You know what? Saison Z has earned his place in this world. You know what, Saison? Uh, let's put our differences aside. <laughs> Just kidding. You're dead. No, I'm kidding. We like size on. That's Kyle. All my enemies become very deeply into Red Bar. Doesn't happen. You don't see me becoming into or starting to become fans of my uh, enemies here. The other way, it does happen here. Listen to this. This Mersh guy, there's a reason we all hate him. This will not stand. Not in my America. Here. Come on, Mersh. Sorry, I mean, I was just going to come say hi and talk about the election, but, you know, if you're going to be all fucking stand no, up. No, 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 no. Like, if you're going to come at me like I'm being weird and shit. No. You know, I, I was like, oh, you know. No. So this is all flirtation. You're going to come at me like I'm... He wants her to say no, 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 because ah, she hasn't done nothing. She picked up the fucking phone. Yeah, it's Mersh. Big fucking deal. Another grovelly, fat, fucking, white trash, poor voice on what the other end of my to phone. Do? Set off fireworks. Yeah, and what cheer you do? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mersh is here. That's great. She's exhausted. Now, I will say this. She does look at Mersh as like a big show. See, these people are so retarded. In their minds, views reign king. I want to let you know something. Yeah, Mersh, they've got 30,000 YouTube viewers. People go, how do they do it? I'll tell you how. They went after Owen Benjamin. They were nothing. They were just a shit little show. They went after Owen Benjamin and picked up a lot of his psychos. And then they started pandering to those psychos with the bullshit conservative soup du jour. And those stupid idiots who need to be fed exactly what they already think are the ones that watch his show, and they are, there are 30,000 of them. The smart ones have come over to Red Bar. They've cut ties. The rest are also stinking poor and gross and anti-Jew and race that they love this show, but it doesn't amount to anything. Okay, 30,000 views, but Mersh is making about $150 a month. He had to squeeze to get... He doesn't have $375. He's got no money to his name. He's driving a 10-year-old, $4,787, 239,000-mild BMW 3-something-I. What, what is it? A 218, a 118. It was a, it was a car that BMW never even rolled out. It was a concept <laughs> car. Can we make a car for a dollar, they said. <laughs> they made one of them. It was awful. You know, Mersh has leather seats that are so worn that they're fabric seats. Okay? You can't brag about having leather seats when they're so worn that the stuffing is out. You're sitting on fabric, bro. That leather has been whittled away. So, Lady A, she gets excited about a guy like this. Ooh, 30,000 views. Maybe I'll get 15,000 of these. Because they're clout-chasing maniacs who only care about numbers. The number these people should care about is that bank account number. Because it's low. It's low and slow. And it ain't good barbecue. It's bad. You know, Mersh sees 318 bucks in his account. He thinks it'll last all year. It ain't. We'll show you this in coming up. But I, this is what I need you to know. I hope I've set the scene for you now. I hope now you know why people, and believe me, the people who hang on to the show, 
there. If you saw them, they don't even count as listeners. This is what I say. There are some people that are so low that they don't count as a view to me. <laughs> so the 30,000 listeners, maybe six of those count. But when you're such a low level of a person, so dirty, so disgusting, and so poor, you don't count as a view to me. You don't count as a listener. Does that make sense? <laughs> For every six listens, six views that Mersh has, it counts as 0.25. <laughs> and that's being generous. Let's listen to this disgusting fucking piece of shit. Flirt with Lady A and big time Lady A as if I'm not watching, as if I don't exist. And let me tell you something. This is what Melton would do. This is what Denny would do. Every day... Their brain resets and forgets that I'm watching. And they talk as if they could get away with this, as if everybody just met them. And we don't know your whole backstory here. This will not stand. And by the time I'm done with Merch, I'll repeat this again. He will have six viewers left and they won't be rich. Watch this. Come at me like I'm being weird and shit. No. You know, I, I was like, oh, you know, no. hey, you know. That's I'm not. I'm fucking literally. That's I'm not literally it. like, like the most famous I've ever been. And, you know, I did. I, I was on Ralph's stream and then he got drunk and crashed and burned. And I did my own stream. And I was like, wow, you know, I, I remember being less known and being on more streams. I remember being less known. So he's trying to. Do you understand this? I can't even really break. I hope this just makes sense. And look at Lady A. Does this look like the face of a girl that's impressed? No. Mm. Mm. You're kind of real. And wow, this guy's pathetic, huh? <laughs> He's calling in to me. That's how I know. How do I know Mercer's pathetic? Well, he's calling into my stream. I thought he was big. This is the face of someone who goes, why is somebody who I thought was big calling into me? I'm nothing. I'm horrible. Something's up. She ain't impressed. And is there anything grosser than a guy hitting on a girl and she don't care? You're going to watch that here today. I'm going to show you it all. And then I said, oh, shit, look at that. Hey, what's up? Homegirls live. And I was like, hey, what's up? I didn't even know Home you. And I was like, hey, homegirls live. I'm not. This isn't a prank phone call She's that he's not doing. Your home girl. He's by the way, he's friends with Lady A. This is a show girl. This would be like if we found out that um, Tim Dillon was good friends with Josh Denny. It just wouldn't stand. It just wouldn't stand. This shouldn't stand. Let's watch more. It gets grosser. Lord, I don't even have an invite there. And then I pop in, and then you go like, you literally, you know what it is? It's like, all right. So, like, me and her, we chat, whatever. We're like, we know each other from other we communities. Know each other. And you're like, hey, what's up, dude? Like, I know you. But then, like, it's like running into somebody you know, like, when they're around their cool friends. And then you go, like, oh, hey, what up? And they go, yeah, hi. Like, Listen to this snacking. He's still on this. We're three minutes into the call. And he's still trying to explain to her. He's like, man, I called in. You didn't seem so exciting. It's like, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, when you're around uh, the cool people and they're pretending they don't know you. That means they don't like you. That means they don't like you, first of all. And what are you nagging, Lady A? She's married to Jack Buckby. High queen of the Proud Boys. High pastor of Prouds out in England. Jack, maybe I'll re-team up with my old buddy Jack Buckby. Most people don't have friends that are nice to them in private, and then in front of everybody else, they make fun of you. Yeah. And if you do, that means that you're the loser of the group. Yes, and look at her face. This is her. Not to be admitted. This is her. And she knows when a guy's hitting on her. She of knows course. that her whole life is been a guy she's hitting She's had to her. suffer through this every moment. You know how many stinking sacks she's had to sniff in the back rooms of those Rick Joints, strip clubs, dirty Vegas buffets. She's had to strip behind. Let's hear this. Know you, but then like it's like running into somebody you know, like when they're around their cool friends, and then you go like, "Oh, hey, what up?" And they go, "Yeah, hi." Like I don't know you, and you go, "Dude, we work together every day. Like don't pretend like don't pretend like you ain't nice at work." 
No, no, I'm not trying to play that game of like, what do they call like negging or some shit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying yeah, to do yeah, like, that. But it was like, yo, like you, you like, you like the girl I work with, and then you're like all cool at work. But then we, like, I see you in high school, and I'm like, hey, what up? And you go like, what? Do I know you? And you go, <laughs> like, yo, bitch, like, come on, don't pretend like we don't work. Now, I want to let you know, this isn't a drop, and he stays on the phone for about 40 minutes. Well, he stays till she ends it. Wow. Let's hear some more. This gets more disgusting. They're all saying lock them up. They're all on my side with this. Mm -hmm. Merch, you're fucking finished. Nobody. You know, he thinks, oh, yeah, a lot of people make fun of me. Not like this. Not like this with the convincing, the molding of minds, the changing of brain chemistry like I do. No one rewires someone's mind like me i got people to stop listening to rogan that's danger for you that's dangerous listen to this okay okay every summer well, at no, the see, same camp see the and thing you're gonna is... pretend like we ain't cool in the summertime at summer camp and then we go back to school and you're gonna act like you're too fucking cool like come on bro okay i see how it is well it's actually kind of like <laughs> i think it's actually the opposite because it's more so that like you get in on a regular night, like, you know, a thousand live viewers or Here whatever, comes. you know, 700 See, or whatever. She's starting to go, this doesn't even make sense. I get 30 live viewers. And you know, Mersh, when he goes live, gets a thousand live viewers into these low levels. They go, ooh, 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 I better treat Mersh like a king. I'd like a thousand live viewers. That would change my life, they think. Now, remember, these people are all poor. The live viewers are there because why? They don't count as viewers, right? If they counted, there'd be some counting going on with the money. <laughs> but there is no money, meaning these viewers don't really count. So, but she's going, I don't understand why you're calling in to me. I get 30 live viewers. You get a thousand. Wouldn't it be better to just be streaming by yourself? Why are you calling into me if not for my body. So she's suspect of Mersh because it's happened time and time again for 35 years. It's happened to Martina, Lady A, where men have been interested in her, but why should they be? Unless it's for the maracas, it's for the, the three, the big three they call it. The boobs, the pussy, and the ass. The, own, the three reasons that any of you exist. <laughs> the three. So she's kind of suspicious here. Why is this guy calling in to me? Unless he, uh, you know, and there are not many people 4 a.m. on the Republican conservative side of the election night. Not too many chicks to call to talk about Donald Trump. Okay. It's not that many, <laughs> even though they're so smoking. You see this guy. I saw this guy post on Facebook the other day. Why are all conservative chicks smoking hot and all liberal chicks are so ugly? And you're going, this is really the bubble that you've built for yourself? Do you think all conservative chicks are like Tommy Lauren? By the way, that's not a hot chick. It's not a hot chick. Lauren Southern is not a hot chick. They're just thin, folks. And all the liberals are ugly. Okay. So all the liberals are just like the fat bull dyke blue hair in their mind and all the conservative girls are hot and pretty <laughs> uh you might need to go down to uh arizona where's this place uh, where they all go on the boat lake havasu go to the outskirts of lake havasu sir and see some of the conservative chicks the babes <laughs> all right so mersh it's late at night lady a is the hottest girl that mersh knows Listen to this. Cool in the summertime at summer camp, and then we go back to school, and you're gonna act like you're too fucking cool. Like, come on, bro. Okay, I see how it is. Well, it's actually kind of like <laughs> I think it's actually the opposite because it's more so that like you get in on a regular night, like you know, a thousand live viewers or whatever, you know, seven hundred or whatever, and it's like I, I get like fucking fifty views, so I'm just kind of like. What the fuck are you doing, like, on my thing, you know? Like, I'm just some loser. Like, why are you coming on to my Yeah, my what's going on? Really so that's how and I'm that's viewing it. Now so gonna please. Do. This is what, like and Mersh actually, here's what's disgusting is, I am kind of like a big celebrity coming around and gracing people with... So he's built this little fantasy land 
where he's allowing people to say this to him instead of him going, no, 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 listen, I'm not big. He goes, well, yeah, I am pretty big and I am coming by. You ain't fucking big, bro. I can prove it. Listen to this. Look, by the way, guys, if you listen to a okay. lot, like this is, by the way, this is what attractive white women do. They, oh they neck God. themselves. This like, is what attractive people what? This is what attractive women do. They neg themselves. That's flirting. This, this is what attractive women do. So Lady A is attractive to you? The big great white hope? And Mersh thinks that hearing him say she's attractive is just going to make her faint. Oh, well, oh huh, God, maybe I'll cheat on my husband for a big fat dork with old glasses. Mersh, you can't get girl. I want to make this perfectly clear. You can't get girls yet. <laughs> You've never had one. If you did, good fucking God, imagine what that girl was. Where'd you find your IHOP at two? Where'd you find her? Denny's at three? Yeah, all the girls I date work at Denny's, so? Well, that's not a girl. <laughs> so attractive. And Mersh thinks he's like wheeling and dealing with women. Are you out of your Don't mind? Don't speak to a girl like this. You live ever. in a 10 by 7 existence. I don't want to see a guy flirting with a girl publicly ever again. If the front door to your house has an Allen wrench keyhole where you just stick in anything and push to open, then you don't live in a house. Someone in the chat was going when you were talking about hot women, they're like, well, Mike, what do you, th what do you think is hot? Pamela you Anderson! I was going to say, nobody should ever know what you think is exactly. hot. Exactly. Angelina Jolie is my answer, by the way. <laughs> she is hot. All right, listen to this. Right, so and by the way, what are you, defending Mersh? Get him out of here. Guards! Take him away. Pull him away and beat him in the streets. Imagine saying this to me. What do you, you think this is better than what you're watching right now? Are you, you lost your fucking mind? What was his, what context are you even saying that to me in? I'm sure he was just curious. Take him away. I want him devoured into the streets, into the streets like they did to that leader, that dictator. What was that guy's name? Yusuf Amanati? Rip him apart. All right, listen to this. Oh, I'm viewing it. Now she's so gonna please. do this is what like by the way guys, if you listen in okay. live, like this is by the way, this is what attractive white women do. They oh they neck God. themselves. Like this is the thing because they've you gotten adjusted win. they've you gotten adjusted win. to be like antics. So now they neck themselves like they preemptively like they try to take well, it's like it's like when like like the N word with the A at the end got invented. Like they were like, We're gonna take the word back. Like, you're trying to do this thing where you're like, oh, who am I? And I like how Mersh is, like, lowest of the low fans are really, oh, my God, he's so good at talking to girls. Well, when they all be able to talk to a girl like that or maybe shoot one? <laughs> the only girl I ever talked to is uh, a female-sounding Reddit handle. <sighs> but I don't even know if it's a girl yet. This is what you want to be, one of his fans? Looking up to him? Are you kidding? Do you see how ugly he is? Do Pete? Can you know? Do people know how ugly and cheap he is? Do you see his shirts? Do you see his face? Do you we'll see, see his hair? Later. We're gonna see him soon. Here, let's listen to the rest of this. I don't know. And you're like, no, we're cool. We're pals. Like you know, we're pals. You know, I'm we're pals. Stream. Yeah, cool. I ain't no fucking. But now, because I came here and then you started getting all big leaky and I called you out on that shit. Now you're going to try to fucking flip that shit on me. You're trying to play. And it's like, okay, um, the nagging bit, like it's run its course. It's, let's wrap it up, Mersh. He continues to do this for four or five hours here. Is <laughs> uh, like, this, you think this, and he thinks by her laughing, he's like, damn, I'm pretty much I'm like the George Clooney of this podcasting game. You disgust women of all kind. Some shit like, I don't know. Oh, no. Because no, you're Mr. Big Time. Don't fucking, don't, listen, don't play to my ego. I don't know like, what the fuck you're talking about, Mersh. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, <laughs> you're on yeah, okay. some shit right now. You're on some shit right now. I don't even know. That's her trying to say, uh-uh, enough. You know, how, I feel bad for women, by the way, to deal with this kind of shit, to be catcalled. Online man spreading and cat called by the likes of Mersh. You know, to, to a girl like this, that's like a rape. That feels like a rape. Okay. 
to be hit on. Now imagine you're a girl, a pretty girl, and you're being hit on by so. I couldn't even imagine if I got hit on by an ugly girl, which I have. It really feels invasive. I had a girl try to hold me down on the bed once and fuck me. Big fat girl. I was playing spin the bottle with her and a bunch of people on what the roof. What age was this? It was a few years ago. I was wow. having a roof party where I decided everyone should be playing spin the bottle. That's heating this party up. And this girl got the wrong idea. She dragged me into the bedroom, locked the door, threw me down, and barely, uh, nearly raped me. I had to say, enough! And I never felt, and this is a true story, I had never felt so violated. People like Martina, she's got to hear it every day from these fat, gross, zitty, Their eyes dirty. don't even point the same direction. No. I mean, Mersh don't even have two eyes that look the same way. You're right. And his glasses... You know his glasses, what year they're from? 2004. You see that? 2004 was the date. I've zoomed in. I've seen the expiration. Glasses should have an expiration date. <laughs> Discard after 1 18 22. <laughs> Throw them away. Really? Should be like a juice box or some oat milk. Put an expiration. There's an expiration on your frames, bro. Let's hear some more. Tricks, all right? Look, I, no, I don't have I, tricks. I don't, all tricks. I don't have tricks. Anyway, so what about the election? What are you? What, what are, are people you talking say? about? What's, what's your big two cents? What is? You're you believing the rape story here with the girl now? Is this is what they're hung up on? Well, I'd never get raped. You don't even have a social life with a woman. You don't even have a party atmosphere. You're sitting at home in Discord. Discord. One girl came in once. Brittany Venti. Oh, she's hot. If you think Britney Venti's hot, you've you're never. Right. You're right. I'm actually in a nice group chat with her. <laughs> Lovely girl. I forgot about that. Completely normal. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like Vanessa Hudgens. When I see Britney H uh, Venti, I go, what is this? Spring Breakers? Is that Selena Gomez or Br uh, uh, Vanessa Hudgens? Yes. Oh, Britney Venti is so good. I love. Oh, her boobs and her eyebrows and everything. I love her. She's so smart and normal. Listen to this. Talk about what's happening. I don't know. I'm I'm very creeped out by this. That press conference gave me gave me really bad vibes. Yeah. I, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was, that that just like I was like yeah we're I'm feeling good. Just we'll listen. wake up tomorrow. We'll win. But he's already like like Trump's front lashing right now. Kind of like you did where you tried to make it like you were being humble, but like really you were being a dick to me. Like Trump's doing that now in the election where he's like, Ew. you know, he's already. What did he say? So to explain this to me because I'm having a hard time. She's trying to talk about the election again. Yeah, because like she wants to keep this. No, yeah, I'm a professional. People are watching. I don't want to start flirting with Mersh. And then Mersh just brought it back to, he's like, the way Trump is acting is like how you were nagging me. It it's ain't like, happening. It what did you think's going to happen? She's going to go, let's Skype. Let's end the stream and Skype, and I'll show you my open gushy. We'll start touching, and you'll start masturbating in 280p to each other. You know, look at the webcam quality these people have. You can even see the pussy, Mersh. It's going to be a blur. Putting the plant in the doubt, and that makes me kind of, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> I feel like he got that Bill Hicks... Like, when they showed him the Zapruder film from a different angle. What did he say? Bill Hicks? Did he say that? She don't know who no Bill Hicks is. Oh, like, Listen. They were like, look. Man, oh, this... and by the way, Mersh does this laugh thing. We're not going to allow that here at Red Bar. Here at Red Bar, when you fake laugh after everything you say, it means you're nervous. So I want every listener of mine and theirs... To know that when Mersh goes, what are you doing over there? <laughs> ah, yeah, it's like when Trump wins. <laughs> That's fake laughs that are so ingrained to his defense system that it's become organic and natural. Does that make sense? When's the last time you... It's a crutch. It's a crutch. When is the last time any of you saw me laugh? Seriously. You ever seen me laugh... I'll tell you why. Laughing is reserved for something funny. Now, I say some of the funniest <laughs> things in the world. You don't hear me dying laughing. When's the last time you saw me? Oh, I can't breathe. He can't breathe. 
George Floyding my way down to the floor because of something funny I said. Everything Merce says is followed by a... <laughs> That's giving me the hiccups. The Bill That's... Hiccups. Yeah, give me a second here. I can't do the Merce laugh. It does bring on a hiccup thing for me. Yikes. Um, <laughs> but I promise you, he laughs after everything he says because he's built this defense mechanism for himself. When you hear him laugh, know this. It's because he's wrong. When someone laughs after things they say, it's to cover up for the fact that they're unsure.